You might not have heard this, but Manchester United have uh, just lost a striker. This is, it was quiet, right? There wasn't a lot of coverage about it, but Manchester United have released one of our strikers. Um, in, in Well, they've released him last last week, actually. But uh, we are probably going to have to replace him in January. And if we don't replace him, we'll have to look internally in the club. Now, all of a sudden, the striker situation at Manchester United looks rather bleak to say the least. And obviously, Cristiano and the club decided to end their contract early and Anthony Martial is a player who's of, let's be honest, inconsistent ability and certainly inconsistent fitness. Uh, we also have a Rashford that has provided prior to the World Cup that he can do a job as a number nine, but I think has got levels to go through to be considered a, a true number nine and he needs to add a, a few things to his game to really consider that. I think he's better out wide. I think that's his optimal position. So everything points to the fact that United are desperate in bringing in a new striker. We've been heavily linked with Cody Gakpo, but there are serious question marks whether he can play as a number nine. So do we wait until the summer and try and go all out and bring in someone like Vlahovic out of the um, the situation Juventus find themselves in? Do we try and get the right guy in in the summer because we'll have limited options in January? Or is there another option? We have, a, we have a couple of promising young strikers, actually. And I don't mean this one to, to completely dismiss Hugo, who I think is a talented player. But there is a young promising striker within our ranks who's made his first team debut. He scores goals for fun. And I mean for fun. 600 plus youth team goals. And his name's Charlie McNeil. So he's a 19-year-old striker, Manchester United fan, came through the ranks at City's Academy before joining United in the summer of 2020. And he's from Drawsden, so you know he's off his nut. When he joined United, he made a lot of headlines because he'd scored more than 600 goals at youth level for Manchester City. And he continued to score once he joined Manchester United. Going from the under 14s, 15s, 16s, so you, you got a lot of players score a lot of goals. I, I know of uh, a couple of young lads who'd scored like 60 in their under 15s or under 16 seasons. So you, you get a lot of goals in those sort of times. Under 18s, it starts to level out a little bit more. And when he joined United, his first season, he got 24 goals in 21 appearances. So you could say he settled straight in. Uh, he's now scored 46 and got 15 assists in just 72 appearances in all the major youth competitions for United. He also scored five goals, made two assists in last season's FA Youth Cup run, of which he was a massively integral part. And he made his debut this season against Real Sociedad in the Europa League. Um, so Ten Hag is clearly aware of him. Now, at 19 years old, he might be ready to make the jump to the first team. He might need to go on loan. But what he does have is an opportunity. This friendly this week in Cadiz is going to be an opportunity for... For him, for Hugo, to show exactly what they can do. Now, I'm sure Tony Marshall will play, but it could be up to one of these guys to start, or it could certainly be up to one of these guys to play at least 45 minutes, I would think. Now, what kind of player is Charlie McNeil? He is a goal scorer, and I mean a goal scorer. He is a goal machine. He has unbelievable technical ability. He is hungry for the ball. He has got great pace. He has got finishes off both feet. He has got good vision and good range of passing. Um, he's played well with both Hugo and Ganacho last season, um, showing he's got link-up playability, and he can play in a team which I would argue has probably got egos in the under-18s. I think they know they're good, and I think that they still manage to produce. And I think while United know we need to bring in a striker, they might not rush to sign a striker for at least four or five weeks. I think someone's going to get an opportunity here. The club probably didn't think Ronaldo would leave mid-season. So we might not have all of the options and reports in place that we need to bring in a, a striker in January. And I think that is the major door that's going to open. Like even if you know Ronaldo left last week, even if they was like, right, go replace him. It's going to take a few weeks to compile reports and decide upon your hierarchy of target, you know, one to five. Then you've got to go and inquire about the availability of those guys. And it's this isn't a video game. You don't get the report back 
yes, he's available. No, he's not. There's sometimes there's negotiation going on. And while there's a World Cup going on, you might get told to call back at the end of the tournament. And then when you call back on the 20th of December, you might get told, why don't you just leave it till after Christmas, all right? And before you know it, January's here, and you haven't actually inquired into the availability of any of your forwards. So there is a door here for Charlie to get minutes. He's away with a squad in Spain. If he impresses Ten Hag out there, he might get some League and Cup minutes. And if he impresses in those, I think he sees some Premier League action. Now, he might not be first choice in those, but he might. There is a League Cup game coming up very, very soon. And there is a, a, a congested fixture regime over um, the start, the restart of the Premier League fixtures. And even if we do sign a striker in January, Anthony Martial is the only main option. So we know his injury record. So an impressive run in the friendlies and perhaps the League Cup game, and Charlie might find himself as second-choice striker. It's not a bad place to be as a teenager at Manchester United. I think he's going to get his chance. I think it's up to him then to deliver on that chance. Like we said, this is a kid that's found the net time and time again. He is confident. He's from Drawsden, so you know he's off his head. He's from a big United supporting family. The fact that he was at City for so long, scored against them, and rubbed it in their faces while he, when he celebrated, it tells you that there's, there's character to him. This is a big one. This is a big one that couldn't... Now, you know, we've said this about a lot of players, but there is an opportunity here for this to really pop off. And I think that there's a good chance that it might do with Charlie. Let me know in the comments. How do you see it going? Do you think he'll get an opportunity? Do you think it'll be a success? Do you think he'll put himself in the mixer as a backup option, at least off the bench? Or, like many players, when an opportunity presents itself, can he go and steal someone's place? Because no one is given a first-team shirt. Nobody is given anything as a player. You have to go and take someone else's. So can he do that? We will see. Hey, thank you for watching the video. If you are new around these parts, then don't forget to subscribe. My channel is proudly supported by my community on Patreon. If you'd like to get a little bit of extra content, a Discord group, meetups, five-a-side games, weekly podcasts, behind the scenes, and even an occasional bit of transfer news as and when I get it, then for the price of a pint, you can show your appreciation for the content that we make and get some goodies for doing so as well. Check the link in the description or click the button right here. You'll also find all of my socials here too if you want to follow me on any of those platforms. Nice one.